Hi everybody, uh, as you may have seen in my last video uh, where I unbox my new um, 70 to 200 Sony lens, um, I was very happy to see how the lens was built and uh, how it fits onto my A7R. Now I had a chance to take the lens out for a little shoot and um, the scenario was as follows. Um, I had a model, we went uh, to the woods and we started early in the morning and this led to what I consider a problem of this lens and I only realized basically when we were there and we were shooting and I checked online to see if there are references to that and there are references but in another context. So what is the problem? The problem is that uh, while you apparently cannot set specific minimum shutter speeds uh, manually for the A7R or A7, uh, the camera will actually, if you are in aperture priority mode, automatically select minimum shutter speeds that it tries to keep if you are in auto ISO. And I used to shoot in auto ISO because these modern cameras usually can keep up very well with high um, ISO settings. But what happened here was when I was shooting portraits in the early morning in a, not dark forest, but in subdued light, the camera at a, the 200 millimeter setting would always try to push up the speed to 1 250th of a second, which I think considering it has a really good optical steady shot image stabilization system is more than you would actually need uh, because for doing portraits so it's not a moving subject you're in a steady position you may even have the camera on a, a tripod or monopod uh, you don't need that fast shutter speed so what happened is even at at, at the maximum aperture of four in not very much light the, the ISO would be boosted up to 20,000 or something like that. And even though the results may have a certain uh, quality about them with the grainy look, and, and I had to find out the grainy look on, on the Sony A7 is really better than I thought, it was not what I intended to have. Uh, so I think that for that sort of thing, a maximum... Uh, shutter speed of one one hundredth of a, sec of, a, of a second would have been more than enough. Now I looked into it and quite honestly I haven't found anything and then I went online and checked if others had had that problem and even though nobody re explicitly mentioned this kind of problem what a lot of people complained about was that there is not a manual way to set the um, the maximum shutter speed. So even if you want a maximum shutter speed uh, or a minimum shutter speed, you cannot set that. Uh, in some cameras, it's connected to the ISO settings. Um, in this camera, there really is no way. If the camera recognizes uh, the the uh, le focal length to be, uh, for example, 200 millimeters, and you leave the camera the ability to change uh, shutter speed, uh, sorry, um, the ISO, uh, you will get a high ISO setting. So you have to consider this if you work with a lens like this, maybe even with other lenses, that you will not be able to um, get a reasonable um, ISO setting if you leave the camera to decide uh, or leave it to the camera to, deci to decide. So the only way to work around that in my perspective so far, I will try to get some information about it, is you will have to shoot in manual mode uh, set your aperture and your shutter speed that you want. So for example in that situation I would have set it to manual mode. Then I would have selected um, say 4.0 uh, as um, the aperture and then I would have selected 1 100th of a second of shutter speed and then 
still the ISO would have been automatically pushed up and down, but it would have been, say, uh, maybe 6400 instead of 12,000. And I don't think a, a camera that, I'm, I'm still very happy with the camera, I'm still very happy with the lens, but just this option of being able to select what you want would be something that at a professional grade camera you should, you should expect. So um, still, the outcome was pretty good, even though I had this kind of surprise because at, at first I didn't even realize it was doing it. I just saw the shutter speed being at 1 250th of a second, and it seemed like it was uh, a little bit fast but i thought there may have been enough light I, it was my fault i didn't i didn't really look in, into the combination of shutter speed aperture and uh, iso setting so um at the end of this video i will show you some sample pictures taken during this photo shoot and uh, judge for your uh, you can judge for yourself i i think they're not bad but i was kind of surprised uh at how high the um, the settings ended up being for the ISO. Actually, I might even write them in uh, for every single picture so you get an idea of how good the picture likes, the photo likes, uh, looks, sorry, uh, at high ISO settings, but at the same time, how, how far the camera pushed the ISO settings in order to keep up with that combination of aperture 4.0 and uh, 1 250th of a second. Uh, if anybody should know about a solution to this problem, let me know. The solution I know is set it to manual and le let the ISO decide, uh, the camera decide the ISO and keep the speed to the lowest possible um, level that you can justify and that you can handhold. Uh, other solutions may come up with a firmware update. I think this thing is not a a technical mechanical thing in any way it's just something that could be uh, changed in a, in a firmware update uh, let's hope um, Sony considers that to be an important enough problem and uh, have a look at the sample pictures and uh, judge for yourself if you like my videos uh, please subscribe uh, like or um, and and especially come back to see more thank you and have a great day bye bye